I just posted on Medium and on Facebook a post. Well, oh, I feel like I'm on the edge of tears right now. Trigger warning, I'm probably gonna cry today. Maybe not, I don't know. But I have been feeling very emotional. Um, I wrote about saying goodbye to me. Um, the, uh, you know, it's kind of a very, no, there's no secret. This is not an a, a aha moment. Oh, to spiritually grow, you need to let go of the who, the, the you that you've been to become who you're meant to be. That's kind of, you know, personal growth 101. But those are words. And for really to, to really feel it and do it and get it, it hit me in a way, it's, it's been hitting me lately in a, in a deeper way than I realized. And I think that I have had this idea that as I dedicate myself to my spiritual path, which I have been, you know, pretty, pretty intensely for, you know, five weeks now. Um, and as I'm finding, you know, growth and, 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 and noticing changes in me and ways that I'm thinking and in just, I'm feeling, well, I take that back. I'm not always feeling like I'm making progress or that it's going well. Plenty of times I'm feeling like this is fucking, <laughs> this is not working. But I guess I was under the impression and feeling like I'm, I'm, I like who I am. I'm pretty fucking stoked with all the, that I do in the world and, and the growth and the, the effort that I put into becoming who I am. And so I thought that maybe I could just like do this extra spiritual work and just kind of add Add more awesome to the awesome. But I am becoming aware that the, the, the parts that I need to heal are super deep down in there. Things like need for approval, need to be loved. And these are rooted in this lack of self-worth, lack of self-love. And for me to really heal those things, I can't do it while being who I am now. I can't maintain Halcyon and then add on and fix it. I gotta fucking throw it all away and then see what happens. And the, the truth is like some of my hurt and pain drove me to be the person I am today. And so I don't know if the person that I will be in my next chapter will be anything like this person. That's fucking scary. It's scarier than I thought. That's been, that's, that's, that's a heavy, a heavy dose, you know, like people taking a leap of faith. But it's not like I, I don't hate my life. I don't hate who I am. I love who I am. I just feel like I could, there's, there's, if I'm going to stay alive for, you know, more decades, which looks like that's going to be the case, I'm not pretty healthy, then it's, I need to take on the challenge of life, which is personal growth. And if I'm aware, as, as, as I'm becoming aware that there are parts of me that are out of integrity or out of pure flow, how can I not try to heal those things, even if it means dismantling, demolishing all that has come before, all that I've built? It is scary for me to say, to say like I have issues with loving myself and self-worth because like in 1998, I launched cockybastard.com and it was called that because it was about self-love and about trying to practice self-love and trying to love myself. And so, 98, 108, 18, what, 20 plus years? Is that right? That can't be right. Yeah, 20 plus years of being on a path of personal growth and still finding that there's stuff in me that's not healed and that I've built all this on, you know, some 
a broken foundation. That's that's humbling. And it's I guess, you know, I've been trying to embrace failure and I guess it's not see it as failure. Um, but I guess that's a pretty big one, you know, like, so if I can love myself for that. Didn't know that I had to go through all that to get here. It's just humbling. I'm grateful that I have no urgency. I'm grateful that I feel very supported. And even though I have voices in me that feel like, that tell me that you have to, you have to do it, you have to have it together and impress people to be loved. I know that's not true. <laughs> and I know, I know that is I, if I'm uh, be, uh, true and honest, <laughs> that I'm e easier to love. I know that. <laughs> it's just hard. Because <laughs> I have this association with being lovable, being exceptional. These mornings, in addition to me sharing and being like a support group and with you, uh, it's also a love morning. So we try to think about how can we more, be more connecting today? How can we find ways to be kind? What can we find that to be grateful for? And then we have a hug. So wherever you are, give yourself a big squeeze. And as you squeeze your body, imagine that you're holding me and I'm holding you and all the people here that are in this space and this vibe sharing this human experience so much more alike than we are different. So let's sink into that. Know that we are supporting one another as we share our truth. We give permission to one another and we can support one another and we can, we can live in purpose simply by being cheerleaders for one another. We don't have to do anything. We have to just try to be who we are and support others when they do that. That's the pink path. So as we feel connected in this beautiful embrace, let's take a deep breath in and squeeze. <sighs> On behalf of Grandpa Caleb and all of you beautiful ambassadors of love, thank you for being here for Hug Nation this love morning. <laughs>